What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. The Beast is getting a much needed bath. Thanks to Chase. That's Attention right. to Detail PA. That's right. Alright. You gotta check him out on Facebook. He's been in our previous videos. But she's filthy. She's, she's, she's uh, dirty. She's dirty girl. A spider right there too. Probably. Lots of spiders out here, Chase. Oh, Lots yeah. of them. Chase will be done this. We're done. Just like that, Chase knocked it out. There we go. Magical, magical. Looking good. Now it's time for the, the wife's okay. forerunner. Let's the forerunner. I just want to give a little disclaimer. In a previous video, probably like two videos ago, three videos maybe, you saw someone getting tased. Part of our requirement to become taser certified, we have to be tased. Every police officer has to be tased. To carry OC spray, which is pepper spray, we have to be sprayed with it. It's normal practice. It's not hazing. Everyone has to go through it. I just want to clarify that. You guys are family friends? Oh yeah. Oh, this is even better. I've known her since she's been a little baby. Oh, this is almost as good as when I got the chief's daughter. All right, lay down on the ground. Any last words? Let's. <laughs> uh, you got long hair, so we're gonna do one. I can here. put it up. Do you want me to put it up? I wonder what it would do. We'll go one right here. Anything. All right. We're going for two. We're going for two? Yes. Three. Huh? You gotta do at least three. Nah, two. Two's good. <laughs> two it is. All right. Mom two? <laughs> no, no, no. She has to tell you to. One, spell out Mississippi. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right, taser, taser. <sighs> there you go. It's two. <sighs> it wasn't that bad, there was it? Go. No. <laughs> Didn't that feel like a very long two seconds, though? <laughs> there you go. Good work oh, out of you, Lex. Good. They also agreed to be on video for that. And it's normal practice. So if you want to become a law enforcement officer, that is something you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get tased. It's part of the training. They also sign waivers through Taser International and through our instructors, which were witnessed. I witnessed the signing. So just to clarify that, it's, we're not doing it for fun and games. We're not doing it to, to, as initiation or anything like that. We joke around as it is as initiation, but it's not initiation. It's something that we are required to do as law enforcement professionals if we want to carry a taser or OC. And maybe in a future video, I'll go into more in-depth details of different other certifications that are required to have every year. So I just want to mention that. They're saying it's about public perception and stuff like, well, yeah, the public should know. That's part of the requirements. Everybody's you know, an you know, it's part of the requirements. Public perception. It's what we have to do. I thought I would show you guys a little bit of insight. That's part of the channel. It's, you know, about automotive stuff. It's also about my career in law enforcement, but it's also about our lives. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Enough of that. I want to talk to you guys about something that I ordered for the truck. These lug nuts. They're made. They are made by VMS Racing, and uh, you know, it's really awesome. They have a lot of different options. Options are great, right? When I ordered these, I was clueless of what to actually order. They actually make, I'll take one of these off. They, I didn't know that they made caps to go over the top of these. I ordered the caps, and then I ordered an extra set of these guys, and apparently I ordered the wrong size. So. Guys, definitely do your homework. If you're gonna invest in VMS True Spike lug nuts, do your homework, do a lot of research before you actually go on their site and start ordering it. It's very confusing. <laughs> so I ordered the longer ones, so I got an extra set of longer ones. I'm gonna send them back and get another set of the shorter ones. I do like the longer ones, but it's not much of a difference, so I'm gonna stay with the shorter lug nuts or the, the bullets. I think it's nice, it just protrudes a little bit past the center cap. But uh, we're gonna get to installing these sleeves for the lug nuts now. I wanna show you the difference. So these, these are what I just ordered, and I didn't realize that they were longer, but clearly, they're longer. But it, it, it's not making such a difference that I'm gonna switch 32 over to the longer ones. And these things are not cheap. What? Yeah, they're not cheap. So I'm gonna send these back in, exchange them for the right size. Yeah, the, um, Josh from Dirty Diesels actually suggested another set of lug nuts. They're like, I think they're less than $200 for the set. And you can send them out to get powder coated. 
If I had to do this over again, I probably wouldn't have went that route. But it is nice to have plenty of different options because now I could have two colors. So these are the sleeves that I was telling you about. I'll mock one up for you real quick to show you what it looks like. So this is what your lug nuts are gonna look like when you get these in. Now I ordered the locks originally and the key that comes with those locks is horrible. So I'm getting rid of the locks altogether. If someone has the time to take off one of these tires, which probably take about 45 minutes to do one with it on the ground, because you need a really high jack to get to it, to get it even off the ground to get to those wheels, God bless you. I'm gonna catch you before you're done. So this is what the key looks like. As you can see, it's all jacked up. We we're having all kinds of issues taking the key off. And now, here's, here's what the lock looks like. So I'm getting rid of these. It's a, it's a, Look at, look at the rust in there already. So, yeah, getting rid of the locks. Here's a new lug, okay? And you can see there's an O-ring on there. That O-ring is what, that O-ring is what secures this on here. So when you get the new caps, you're gonna see at the bottom, I'll open this up, they come with new O-rings. These O-rings are bigger than the ones that come on the lugs. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna swap that O-ring out, and I'll show you what it looks like with the sleeve on, and then we're gonna install them. So we're just gonna pull this, this off. And here's the new one. So that's gonna be the new O-ring. That's the one we took off the lug nut. The lug nut. That's the new one. It's larger in diameter. <laughs> so we're just gonna roll this on. What's it like, Hetty, rolling this on? Tell the viewers. Yesterday you, um, oh my gosh, I can't even. <laughs> you take your cap, slide it over top. And we went with silver because we thought, we thought the silver would look good and match the center caps. Because as you can see, the center caps are silver. So here's your end result. Not too bad. We're gonna go ahead and install these now, get rid of the old locks, put the new lugs on, and go through the tedious process of replacing all of the rubber O-rings, which is what locks the bullet onto the lug nut. You ready, Hetty? Ready. Pulled by Josh from Dirty Diesels that you're gonna wanna torque these American Force wheels down to 160 foot-pounds. For the top, got rid of that lock, and now we're just gonna go through the rest of them. Couples that mod together stay together. Look at this. Eddie's working on the, the rear. I'm working on taking the lock out of the front and then torquing down the new lug. Love my wife, she's awesome. What happened? What'd you do? I poked myself. Jeez, Zooey. Still like modern with the husband? Yeah. <laughs> oh. At least I marked myself and not your wheel. Good job, honey. Good job. <laughs> all right, we're all done. Let me know your thoughts. It's not much of a difference, but if you're really looking at them, you can see a difference. It took Chase how many times back and forth to see the difference? <laughs> I think it's four or five. <laughs> it's the little things, but we're all done. I was looking at the caps. I wasn't looking at the uh, silver part of it. Uh, I was looking at the caps. I was just looking to see if there's a difference on the uh, blue caps. I should have gave him a little hint. I should have gave him a little hint. But yeah, I think it looks good. I thought this antenna was extremely cool. Problem is, is it doesn't pick up any FM whatsoever. I mean, it is very short. I'm gonna replace that. VMS Racing makes a 13 inch. So we're gonna head and put the 13 inch antenna in. Dude, look at, there's sand. Hetty, look at all the sand underneath the antenna from going out on the beach. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was sand. I think it was grinded down metal. Really? No. Man, it's already rusting. Wow. If you guys want this antenna, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram. Yeah, that antenna I just said doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work, but some people might want to have it for show. Hetty. 
Okay, I'm not judging. I don't judge. I give high fives. So here's the new antenna for VMS Racing. It's a little 13 inches. Hopefully we can pick up some local FM stations. Just in case Sears Radio takes a poop. I don't know if I'm going to need any special adapters to get this to work. Got a whole bunch of adapters in here. Alright, so here's what we're going to use. <laughs> this part, you can see it's like a finer thread here and then a coarser thread here, maybe even a bigger thread. <laughs> so that it'll actually show. You want to screw it in, babe? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna screw that in. I like looking you in the eyes when I screw. <laughs> uh, this is supposed to be a G-rated uh, channel. All right, so and then. <laughs> oh, yeah, you wouldn't put it. You didn't want to say it though. because families are wondering. And then we're just gonna use this sleeve to cover the mount. There's a little portion of the mount you want to cover. We're not gonna use this at all. This is for like a different type of vehicle. It's very universal. It's got multiple different adapters. You just need to figure it out which adapter you're gonna use, so. All right. You wouldn't know this, but this is take number five. Plastic part. Putting it right see? there. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that was. You can see it clear. And then you're gonna screw this right on. You screw it on good, right? <laughs> yep. Make it good and tight. Good and tight. All right, and then. Again, I don't think this is going to work too much better, but maybe it should a little bit better at least. And if I had Loctite, like blue Loctite, I would be using that right now. But I don't have that. But yeah, what are, you, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, Ed? Not too bad. Huh? If we get a couple radio stations in, it was all worth it. I feel about... Hold on. Better than what it was. A lot better than it was. What channel is that? 92.5. Try another like closer channel. MMR Rock. It's better, but it's still got. It's still not great. It's better, but it's not great. But it's better. Before we weren't getting anything at all. And that's satellite. Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Do you love me?" I tell her, "Only partly." I only love my bed and my mama, I'm sorry. She's a goof. All right guys, now this leads me into the next portion of the video, which is, I got a, I got a mod. And it's not a mod that I personally wanted to get, but uh, I, I need to get it. I was, what, we were Ocean City, Maryland, got stopped like five minutes after being there because of, Let's see if you can get the angle. No, oh, I got it all right. <laughs> I ordered fender flares. I got the biggest fender flares I could possibly get. The Bushwhacker, <laughs> they're the Bushwhacker maximum coverage fender flares, right here. So I talked to the body shop that we use for the department and they're gonna paint them for me and they're gonna be going on the beast. And I'm gonna have to take off the factory OEM flares, which I, let me know if you guys wanna see that because there is a process to that. You may wanna see that before we take those off. So unfortunately, yeah, it's not, it's not a mod that I wanted to get, but it was necessary. And it's going to protect the side of the truck, right Chase? That's right. When it flicks dirt up, it goes right into the paint because this is going to catch the dirt where it's supposed to hit in the wheel well. Instead, it's flicking up right into the paint and it's um, uh, going to chip the paint or it's embedding the contaminants into the paint even more. And then you have to play by the car more, which is not something you want to do more than twice a year. We're going to protect the beasts because, yeah, clearly she's getting beat up. And I daily drive my truck. It's, this isn't just the show truck. We do drive this everywhere. We take it to the beach. It goes on the beach. It goes off road. So it, it's it's a mod that's needed. I just didn't necessarily want to do it. <laughs> but, Especially if you drive to Maryland. Oh yeah. yeah, if you go to Maryland during cruising week, make sure your tires aren't sticking out because you'll be pulled over within seconds. For example, what we got going on here, I don't know if you can see. I mean, there's stuff all. She's gonna need to be clay barred again really soon. Right, Chase? Yeah, that's not good because we just did it not too long ago as well. What do you got there? According to Chase, I have spider houses. <laughs> I 
Chase is detailing our cars. Just he actually is just doing a wash. Overdue wash. We did the interiors. And the wife's getting her vent shades that we ordered. You give me credit. There's no we. Alright. No, I cleaned the inside out initially and then you backed it out. Oh, we're talking about your truck? But all the cars. Yeah, the wife cleaned her car out. And she, and she finished doing my truck. I started it, but I had to run and rescue my mom because she needed a new battery in her car. <gasps> There's breakage. This has to go back. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Yup. Looks like you're not getting your vent sheets. Wow, that's bad. I hope I can still take them back because I've had them for a while. Where'd you order it from? Amazon. Yeah. I mean, it's on video. Yeah. Going back to Amazon. No spiders housing for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, smash that. Subscribe. We'll see you on the next upload. Love you.